Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I'm perfectly fine as a person and I just want to talk to you guys. What's up guys, it's Dane here and welcome back to another video guys. And today's going to be a different kind of video. And yes, I am smiling, but this is sort of a sadder topic. It's not a sad topic, I just have a lot to get off my chest right now. Recently, I've been listening to, to a podcast that FouseyTube was featured on. Um, it's on his channel if you guys want to go check it out. And he talked about, if you guys don't know, he's on a journey right now of just being homeless, I guess. And he's going from home to home helping homeless people out. He's donating to charity. And no matter... How, if you guys like him or not, it's very inspirational and it's opened up my eyes. It's made me realize that I'm just not happy with my YouTube channel right now, honestly, guys. I'm just not happy with it. The reason why I'm not happy with it is just because I live stream every day and I have a drive to myself to stream every day. But it's not a drive that is making me want to wake up and do it. I don't want to do it sometimes. I'll just wake up and be like, I've got to stream. If I don't stream, if I don't stream, then I won't get daily uploads. I mean, I have to upload every day. That is my current mindset. I don't like that. Problem with streaming is that it's irrelevant after like a couple days. I mean, bro. You guys don't want to watch a stream from two days ago for me. Let's be real. Who here actually watches streams days after it happens? You don't. Who does that? But videos you can rewatch after years, guys. You guys realize in two years from now, you guys could rewatch this and be like, wow, this was Dane back in 2017 of June. We're halfway through the year, and this has been my best year of my life. But at the same time, I've been in a weird state of mind. My state of mind, I don't really know where I'm at right now. Uh, as a person, I'm perfectly fine and happy, but at the same time, on the inside, I'm being slowly eaten away from these things that, Dane, why aren't you posting a video? Why aren't you working on a video? Why aren't you streaming? I mean, Minecraft was such a fun thing back in the day because I got to work on a video that I was proud of. I got to make a video, edit it, I got to render it out, post it, and even just to have the support of other people. I never cared about the views. Guys, I had I had more of a kick out of this YouTube thing when I had 10 views on a video, and that was just because people supported me. I mean, even people that hated me, that drove me even more. Like, I'm going to prove that guy wrong in the next video. Someone that said, this video sucked, he's not saying that next video. He's going to say, I loved the video. The problem was is that... I just could make a video with Minecraft and I could work on it. I would wake up at nighttime and, and I'd lay awake like, man, what am I going to do for tomorrow's video? But I loved it because I got to think of passion. I had passion for it. And I just don't have the passion anymore. Not for the zombies thing. I mean, you can't make videos with zombies unless you want one view. I don't care about the views like I said, guys. But you guys are probably not interested in me doing videos with zombies. All you can do right now with zombies is stream. That's where the mainstream media is with this. But I don't want to stream zombies that much anymore. I want to make videos for you guys that you guys will like and love. But at the same time, tomorrow, I might run out of ideas and I might just be like, screw it, I'm not thinking of an idea, I'm live streaming. The, another problem is, is that I always want to post every day. But in my opinion, unless YouTube is your job, you shouldn't post every day. YouTube, I don't make money off of videos. That's a thing. At one point, I was like, I'm streaming because I could make money. Get that attitude out of here. I've never cared about the money. I have never cared about the money. I've cared about you guys being willing enough to be like, I love this guy. I'm going to give you some of my money. That is awesome, and I've always loved that, but not the fact that I would need the money. I've never needed money from you guys. Absolutely not. I'm 14. I mean, I'll get a job soon, and I'll get my own money that way. I don't need money from you guys. The problem right now is I just just don't know what to do with streaming and it's just getting to the point where I'll wake up and I'll be like all right let's go to school screw school first and foremost I hope school can die in a hole I hope when I'm a parent school is different I hope when I'm a parent school will not put my kid through this because school has just put me through this state that I have to just go to school I have to be the best that I can be and I guess that's a good state of mind but not when you just can't do it I can't wake up that early that's not even the biggest problem with me with school school they teach me so much stuff that it's useless that's not even my biggest problem it's just the fact that there's a mindset you have to go to school and if you miss one day you're missing so much stuff but in the end you don't need any of that stuff so why am I stressing over stuff I don't need when I'm older there's the occasional stuff here and there that's gonna help you but why am I stressing about stuff I don't need to know and it's just at the time and I bet you when I'm older I'll be like hey you know I'm glad I went to school I'm glad I got my grade 12 I'm glad I went to university but for right now my state of mind is I don't want to go to university I don't even want to go to I don't even want to get my grade 12 all right, if it was up to me, I would just get a, I would just graduate grade 9 and be done. But I do want to go to school for 3 more years. I want to finish grade 12. School does help me see other people, see my friends, see my girlfriend, see my see my fans even. I mean, I've had fans come up to me before, but that was just a joke, but it's still a nice experience. The thing is is that 
School at the same time can hurt you. School is a whole other topic. Let's get off of it. But school is just one part. Another part is coming home and being like, okay, literally the second I get home, I start making a stream. I start working on it. I don't relax. I never relax until friggin' 1 a.m. in the morning when I go to bed. That's when I relax. And at, at that point, it's not me relaxing. It's just me being so stressed that I just fall asleep only to continue the cycle the next day now me putting it in that perspective it makes me sound depressed um or just not happy and i guess in a way i'm not happy but i'm not i'm certainly not depressed i'm perfectly fine guys trust me but there are many things i think i could change and i think i really want to work on um also i'm wearing a black t-shirt with a black background it's very weird i know a, a huge point i want to get across to you guys is i shouldn't have to care about what time i post and when I post these are my two biggest things I think I guess people that have a certain time to stream and stuff is cool but I don't want to have to stress about that like if I had a certain time when I had to stream if I made it every day I stream at 5 30 that would just kill me eventually because I'd be like it's 5 10 I don't know what I'm streaming yet I'm gonna go 20 minutes to go people are gonna hate me would you guys really hate me if I if I didn't stream at 5 30 I mean if I did what if I was on a consistent like 87 day streak of streaming every day at 5 30 till 7 30 every single day for 87 days I wouldn't want to end that that'd be like ending a streak on snapchat you just don't want to end it I mean you just don't want to end it but at the same time right now I just don't want to have to stream I love streaming and I will continue it don't worry guys streaming is gonna stay it's just I want to be able to the next day after I stream to look back on it and be like, that was a good video. I'm proud of it. You put no work into streams. I could probably literally just live stream me talking to you guys and you guys would be cool with it. I bet someone I've seen so many YouTube channels of people with no personality, with no means of YouTube, no way to read comments. They have no lot. They're no humor, nothing to them. They, they literally just play zombies. They're like relaxing in, but you can hear their voice and they still get subs they still make views they still get likes and dislikes and comments that's just because people love live streaming but that is not something i want i want to be able to the day after i make a video to look back on that video and be like oh my god this video was awesome i'm so proud of myself you put no effort into live streams at all live streaming is just clicking a button i mean i guess you put effort into thumbnails i don't put effort into my thumbnails because i've given up the passion for putting effort in my thumbnails there was a time when i loved making thumbnails the first time i used photoshop and i was like photoshop's gonna be awesome i can't wait to learn photoshop make epic thumbnails like these big youtubers do i lost the passion for that because i was like what's the point i've literally had streams with no thumbnail that i made do better than streams with thumbnail which makes no sense to me thumbnails and titles are the two biggest things with youtube and i don't really like that i think it should be the youtube personnel the personality of the youtube channel of the youtube guy the girl the, the couple the, the group that should be what makes the video i mean just look at logan paul and like jake paul i don't even know those guys they get three million views a video and to me views don't matter to me all right, views do not matter to me at all if, I, if this video gets 10 views i'll be happy if, as long as someone has earn something off of this video not even earn but g gain something off of this video that would be nice so if you learn something on the video let me know i just really wanted to tell you guys that i don't know how streams are gonna go and if i don't post on a day then don't expect it i'm still very happy and i'm loving my life right now guys don't get me wrong on that and i absolutely love you guys so much for 1.1 thousand subscribers and we're on the road to 2k right now but I just don't want to have to stress about this every single day. The summer's coming up, and maybe after school is done, I'll feel a different way, and I'll come up with a follow-up video, hopefully. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys on the next video.